Good morning everyone. It is so nice to be here again and this is Dirani Diva. I hope you're having a very wonderful week. Today we are going to talk a little bit about um, spiritual readings, psychic readings and that, that relate to life path and relationships and career and life choices and then also take a look at what we call fortune telling which is a little different. Uh, spiritual psychic readings which, uh, which are connected to your life path is not a fortune telling. It is um, it is actually derived from your desires, uh, your dreams, your soul path and your talents and where you are placed in your life at a particular point of time. So it is really a very in-depth way of understanding our relationships, uh, what we are here to do, what our strengths are, what our strong points are. And so it can be pretty powerful if it is handled in a good way with a deeper understanding and awareness, which, which we are you know, focused on constantly when I, when I do my readings. Okay? Now a fortune telling is a little different and I know some readers do, um, do fortune tellings and you know, I am not here to judge them, but they can be a little little dangerous sometimes. For example, uh, I've read for many who have come to me and said, well, Tilani, uh, I had a reading over three years ago and in this reading I was meant, I was supposed to meet a gentleman and uh, we were supposed to get together and get married and have children and all that good stuff. You know, this is very good. And so I said, well, um, and and you know it's been nearly five years and i haven't really met this man and so there's this utter confusion in this poor uh, lady's face and so i said well did you get any direction as to how you were supposed to meet this person what was your frame of mind you had to be in uh, was there a time frame that you were going to meet uh, you know so and so and how would you recognize this person if you did see him and uh, uh, what should be your desire during this time and so um, she said well honey I have been so busy you know I run my own business and I really don't have even time to go out I've been really really busy and so I said well hon then that's uh, you know one of the fundamental things that we have to look at is if we are wanting something to come into our lives and and implement itself we have to create it in some ways we cannot um, you know sit back God has given us the wonderful great gift of creativity I mean this is just amazing and uh, I feel that when we recognize our talents and know that what we can do is pretty powerful with the help of the Holy Spirit and the, with the help of our guides then we um, present that and we expect that and then we channel that and then we create it and then that is wonderful but remember again the important reason as to why we were here is to create, is to work, to learn and to become skilled in certain areas. Now, you know, it's very easy for us to see our skill sets in our work because that we can see. You know, that's right in front of our eyes. And the same amount of work uh, is uh, advised in, in the spirit. How do we work? How do we learn in the spirit? We have many, many ways of learning. And so each of us have our own special path of learning and our own special path to the Creator and to God. And that's pretty powerful. So uh, understanding the, the concept of the spiritual reading, which really comes from within us with the help of our guides and uh, why we are here, what are our strengths, what are our talents. And uh, you know, we, we can have a desire that doesn't necessarily mean that it is in our path. You know, for example, I love, I love to ski, but I can't even stand straight on snow. I'm terrible at sports. I'm great at the arts um, and, uh, you know, uplifting music and singing and poetry and writing and reading and these things I'm very good at, oratory and so on and so forth. But I, I can't, I, I never could. I mean, I, I'd, I'd just hit that tennis ball right under the net and it would go flying across. And that was quite powerful for me. So you see, I mean, recognizing my talent was important though you know my love for watching the tennis with my father was just a wonderful experience so I think when I recognized my talents and I took it forward it has led me to this path and I use all my talents to share with you my creativity in my web design and my writing skills that I share with you my music very soon will be coming up here and you would be able to see that but all of it is centered in my teaching in my um, in my ministry to help you with my uh, with my gift which is primary 
for me. And so in the same way, you, we can figure out about you. What are your gifts? Where is it coming from? What are your desires? And the better way to do it is don't just come with one single question. Come to interact. It is better when you interact. Your energy flows, your gift flows, and it's much better. Um, as I said, going back to the topic we were talking about, fortune telling a bit dangerous a bit dangerous because when what happens is when we hear that we are going to receive this gift we stop working for it and the, the skill factor is definitely um, uh, how can I say um, enhanced and developed when we work everything is geared to us enhancing our awareness learning and becoming more and more beautiful in the power of light so that we can one day be in the presence of God and our angels and that is just amazing and that is the forever so if we understand that at a, at a deeper level then our desire to work towards it to enjoy the path as well as the prize becomes essential and having joy and enjoying that experience is necessary for the spirit and for the body for a person who has gone through an experience has a much better way of handling it uh, of understanding it and the discernment is much deeper than somebody who just reads it on a book you see in a book I beg your pardon so having said that, I hope that you too will search your path, your talents, your goals, and your loves. Now this is a sexy summer. You've got to go out there and have a fabulous time. You must let your spirits out. You know, wear the trendiest things, not most expensive. The trend is just be happy. Just do what it is that makes you tick. And I'm always here for you and I would love to sit with you. Uh, ideally, half an hour session is a good time for us to get to know each other. And I'm online constantly. So once again, I wish you all the best for a fabulous summer. And I think we shall hear from me again soon. The next clip I'm going to put up is about soulmates uh, in the soul series, a second clip on whether we actually end up with the soulmate that uh, was envisioned for us. So I look forward to uh, talking to you again very soon. Take care and have a fabulous sexy summer. Bye-bye.